What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, things are starting to heat up with Seth Rollins and CM Punk. Apparently, Seth Rollins was at another house show event and some CM Punk chants uh, ring out. And uh, Seth had something to say. And I, I love what they're doing here. I love how they're they're interacting with each other without really interacting with each other. They're like sending jabs and shots at each other without actually doing that face to face. And I'm liking that. I'm liking the storytelling that's being told through social media because they're not really, I guess you can say, promoting it as much or teasing it per like the WWE production side. They're just having little conversations in their promos, mentioning the other person, not really saying too much, but we're getting more story being told through actual like fan footage. And I love that, that that's how you incorporate a story without actually forcing it. You're having your fans record it and upload it to social media and it's creating the buzz by itself. So we're gonna check that out. Also, I did get a chance to check out CM Punk making his uh, surprise to everyone at NXT um, uh, last night. I'm, I'm filming this two in the morning, y'all. I'm just getting back home. Um, but he um, started off the show with uh, HBK and uh, CM Punk came out there as like a surprise to everybody and uh, got a good crowd reaction seeing CM Punk in nxt at the last pretty much wwe P ple for the year that was pretty cool got a great reaction and him cm punk coming out there in the bret hart hoodie with hpk out there was so cool and the fact that these two guys were in a ring having a conversation with each other was very entertaining uh he even took a selfie with uh hbk that was so surreal People have coined Shawn Michaels as the ultimate toxic human being back in the day uh, when it came to politicking and people just not liking him. That was documented and that was a real thing. So for him to be interacting with CM Punk, who people, a lot of people view him as toxic and a, a cancer to, to wrestling as a, as a whole, it's very interesting that two of these individuals are interacting with each other and they've both had history with wrestlers or backstage situations and had, you know, fights and stuff like that. So the fact that they, they're in a ring together, two of the, some would say the most toxic individuals in wrestling at one point in a ring together was cool he also teased maybe going to nxt uh crowd was wanting him to be on nxt but we kind of know it's a good chance he'll probably go uh be exclusive to monday night raw we'll see what happened but i just wanted to let y'all know i did see that i thought that was just a cool moment all right let's check this clip out on twitter shout out to the homie right here he is the one that is always um getting like the timestamps for our live streams and we pin his comment every time he doesn't have to do that but he chooses to do that and we really appreciate him time stamping our live stream reactions it makes it that much easier for you guys to find a particular part of the video but this tweet is by uh wrestle ops the, the footage excuse me who is that that is what uh seth rollins had to say uh apparently cm punk chance rain out at a wwe house show so we're going to see what this clip is all about. Should be a good one, man. You hear the CM Punk chants. Excuse me, who, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> This is good. I love this. I'm the freaking best in the world. Because every single pound, every single night, doesn't matter the opponent, I 
show up and I show out. This is, I like this. I was here the last time we were in this building. It was a nice house. Oh, man. This, I like that. I like that. I'm here for it, y'all. This is, they don't, oh, this is so good. This is good. He said, yo, when he grows the set, then we'll see what happens. I, I like that. This is great. This is great. All this potential footage they're getting. Oh, man, imagine that promo package. Because I do think this is going to be probably the main event, at least of night one. Uh, CM Punk, Seth Rollins. And they have so much time to cook, and that's why I like this. That's why I do feel like he's going to be on Monday Night Raw, because it makes sense, and I like this. I do. I truly, truly do. This is good. This is good. This is how you you slow cook. We know they've been sending jabs. CM Punk hasn't even mentioned his name, bro. He hasn't even mentioned his name. They're sending these jabs at each other, and us fans are capturing the footage, posting it on social media, adding fuel to the fire. I'm here for it. When the fans chant CM Punk, they know Seth may react, say something. When the fans start singing Seth Rollins' theme music, his entrance music, he they know CM Punk may allude to something. This is good. This is what I want. This is this is what I want. And I think we're we're in for a treat. Triple H, CM Punk, Seth Rollins, they're about to cook. They're about to cook us a feast. And we're just getting little bits and pieces of it through social media mostly. Most of this build, outside of the few jabs they've sent at each other, has been on social media. And it's going to continue to grow. And I'm here for it. This is what I love to see, man. I love this. Ah, it, it it feels good to have this excitement for WrestleMania season because not only do we have maybe potentially Cody finally finishing his story with Roman Reigns, that was, you know, that's a thing that's heavily rumored and most likely may happen, but we have this particular story with CM Punk and what his goals is to main event of WrestleMania. And Seth Rollins trying to, you know, let, you know, prove himself why he's, he feels like he's the best in the world and really the top champion. You know, there's other pieces in, 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 in place too, that we're going to be getting at WrestleMania, uh, you know, upcoming soon. And this is fantastic. They have so many top stars now, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with LA Knight. Maybe him and Logan will feud for the United States championship. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Gunther. What is he going to do? And I'm sure Brock is going to make his return sometime relatively soon. What's going to happen with him? Will him and Gunther have something going against each other? Then you got the situation with Drew McIntyre on this rampage. Seth Rollins has to watch his back because Drew ain't showing no mercy. What's going to happen with Jay Uso? There's just so many things to be excited about for this year's well, next year's WrestleMania season, and this right here is one of is at the top. It's damn near at the top of the list, potentially, in my opinion. I'm really at this point right now. This is one of the m most e exciting matches I'm looking forward to right now. And even though you got Cody and Roman, that can you know still happen, and I'm sure they will you know turn that up relatively soon, and that's gonna be a must see. Um, but this right here is fresh and it's exciting. And there's history that they have with each other. I'm here for it. I'm so excited. Comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys liking the approach on how they're building this feud with them? Really, it's really being the fans recording footage and like kind of hyping this up without WWE having to do too much right now. Are you guys liking this approach to them slow cooking this feud? Because I definitely am. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150k, and I'm still young, speedy YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.